Hi there, Lyman Cedar. It's me from LymanCedar.com and it's Lyman Cedar. Today the date is uh, June 29th, 2016. It's a Wednesday. The time right now is 1.29 in the afternoon. Okay, uh, if you actually look uh, here, you can see the Aragon E119 Plus. This is, okay, uh, for those people who don't know, this is the fastest bike in its category. It's like uh, the Lamborghini. It's like uh, the Bugatti of all cars. You know, it's, it's like wow for a triathlete. It's a dream bike. This bike is a dream bike for any serious triathlete. Okay. Now, let me tell you something about myself. I am a super average athlete. Very, very, very average. I mean, I'm so average, like I take part in the easiest race, the shortest distance, which is called the sprint. And more or less, I'm the last guy to finish the race. Okay. Now, it's so ironical that me being the guy who finishes a race the last, who hardly can struggle to finish a race, ended up purchasing the state-of-the-art, state-of-the-art bike. So why would I do that? I mean, you know, if you if you go to the website and just type Aragon E119 Plus and you type in the specifications, what it says here is, although I don't know much about it because I'm still a baby, it says it's aerodynamic gain of 14.89% over the E118, which means it's the fastest bike in its category. Uh, it's adjustable integrated cockpit with triathlon specific geometry, which I don't understand, which says it's seriously committed to the needs of a triathlete. It has a triathlete a triathlon specific geometry, 78 degrees seat tube and adjustable saddle position, plus 28 mm and minus 28 mm. So it seems apparently it creates an optimal fit for any level triathlete. A specific size geometry, well balanced ergonomic fit for every frame in every size. It also has an adjustable 25mm tire clearance. It's very, you know, the tire is really close to the bike. So it prevents the brakes from rubbing and enables faster wheel changes, eliminates the need for quick release mechanism, which is obviously for super fast athletes. Then CFD analysis, that wind tunnel and below drone testing, optimal aerodynamics in true wind conditions, five to 20 degrees your angles i don't know what's that travel friendly no complicated hardware easily removable cockpit and wheels which i tried it and it has an optimal balance award winning uh, sorry winning formula for high performance a perfect blend of aerodynamics comfort and maneuverability okay okay too much for your head but what i'm trying to tell you is this is like the bugatti this is like the rolls royce this is like the Lamborghini, the Spider, the limited edition, it's like the wow bike. In fact, whomsoever I spoke to, they said, this is their dream bike, okay? Now, the big question begets is, why would I, a super average athlete who takes part in the easiest and smallest race, why would I go for a state-of-the-art, amazingly immaculate, powerful, wow bike like this? It's like, it's like, I can't even perform in bed and I'm asking to have sex with the most hottest girl who likes to have a long marathon sexual experience. Why me? Well, let me give you the reasons. The simple reason, it's 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 very simple. You know, whomsoever I spoke to, whichever triathlete I spoke to, they said, Lloyd, you need to earn your stripes. You need to earn that bike. See, the fact of the matter is simply this. I'm never going to be a world-class athlete. I'm never going to be the best. I'm never going to like earn the stripes. If you ask me to earn this bike, I, I, I think I would earn it maybe after 20 years. And that also if I kept, kept improving, improving, improving. So I'm an average guy. And the fact of the matter is if I went with that logic, I don't think I'd ever deserve this bike. In fact, it's not that I've really cash to buy this bike. I had to really beg, borrow, whatever to buy this bike. So why? I decided to buy this bike because of these very reasons, because I knew I, I couldn't get it forever. I'm not going to be a triathlete forever. I'm, I'm never going to be the best. I'm, I'm never going to, you know, earn this bike. So the question is, when would I have this experience? When would I have the experience of being in what is considered the world's best triathlon bike? You know, when? So, agreed. Uh, I can go up to maybe, uh, if you actually look at it, uh, you know, there are bikes which are costing, let's say, I'll tell you, I spent $17,000 for this bike. There are bikes which are costing uh, 
say 54,000 US dollars. It's even more than that. So I, I know I can never end if I want to spend on this, but I decided to go for this because you live only once. You live only once. You have the experience only once. So if I can, if I can get my hands on it, why not? Why shouldn't I? Why not? So that is where I decided I would buy this bike. And uh, today I'll tell you for a fact I have no regrets that I bought this bike. And uh, very soon I'm going to race, not race, I'm going to cycle on this bike, take part in a race. I don't know what position I'm going to get, but I'm going to enjoy this moment. I'm going to enjoy the feel. I'm going to enjoy the experience knowing that this is what, this is the dream I had. I experienced it and lived it. So if I, after one year or two years, can't ride a bike ever again, I, I, I can proudly say that, yes, I had the experience. So why did I purchase a $17,000 uh, tri bike? Yes, because it's because I, I felt I deserve, you know, I deserved it. I, I, I wanted to experience it. I wanted to know what it is and um, to live every moment of my life knowing that this was the best and I experienced the best and that's it. So for those who drive and ride average bikes and average cycles and are happy with that experience, yes, you need the engine to drive it, the legs, the stamina, the lungs, the, the flexibility, whatever, fine. You're happy with that, I'm happy for you. But for me, super average guy, I'm going to drive the world's best bike and I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to live it. And um, end of the day, I'm going to know that I live my life to the fullest giving myself the best of what money could buy. That's it. So live from LiveMesito.com and LiveMesito sharing with you ah, his experience, his reasons and logic as to why an average Joe like me purchased the most expensive triathlon bike I could ever buy. Let me know what you think. Love to hear from you. And do check out Aragon E119. I'm putting the link below. Check it out and see for yourself what I mean. Bye from LiveMesito.com saying goodbye for now. Thank you very much. Good, bad, ugly. Let me know what you think. Bye.